Hello my darlings, my name is Victoria and this is Veritas Tarot. I'm going to be doing you a Soulmates in Separation reading for you today. Um, and I'm going to be using the Celtic Cross uh, formation to do that. But we're going to be focusing more on your Soulmates energy and if the reading resonates, you will obviously appear in the reading. I'm also going to be pulling some specific advice from you, spirit advice for you as well. If the reading resonates, please do um, comment, like, share, subscribe. I would be very grateful. If it doesn't resonate, it simply means that it wasn't for you today. Um, and the other thing is, if you hear my little dogs wandering around, I have wooden floors, you might hear little foot, footprints, paw prints going around. Uh, and if they bark, I will stop the reading and start again because you don't want to hear that. So I bless the cards. I'm using the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot for the main part of the reading. And then I'll be using the Spirit Song Tarot to clarify, followed by my Angel Answers deck for you and some love messages from your soulmate. So let's move ahead with a week reading and let's see where your soulmate is right now, the person that you're thinking about, their perceived state of mind. Um, and this is all in relation to you. So thank you, Spirit. One card, please. Here we are. So you've got the King of Wands has flown out. Um, so the King of Wands is somebody who um, very much uh, knows what they want. But I'm getting here as well that they're quite controlling about that. Um, and uh, if that resonates with you, you'll understand what I mean. Um, they're thinking about you a lot. Um, and I just want to show you the card there. Can you see that they're deep in thought? They are going around and around in their head. And that for me is represented there by, are they lizards or they're chameleons? But they're almost chasing their tail at the moment. They're not quite sure uh, what to do, but they know what they want. Um, and there is, funny enough, a little sort of chameleon lizard down there as well. So it's about them observing at the moment. They're sort of, um, I'm guessing, kind of not camouflaged, but you understand what I mean. They're in the background and they are observing you at the moment. And they don't want you to know that they are watching. Um, it's nothing creepy or anything like that. They're just observing you at the moment. Um, there is a sense of sadness, I'm seeing too. Um, but they're wearing a green cloak and that is very much about the heart chakra. So um, they're feeling, they miss you. They miss you is what I'm getting. They're, miss, they're missing you. Um, the wand in this card is uh, has olives there and that's about peace. Um, so those thoughts of you, uh, they, they make them, they give them those moments of peace um, there's a sort of sigh of relief when they think about you. Okay, so let's see what their challenge is at this current time. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, challenge card. Thank you. Three of Swords. So, um, immediately I'm picking up that, um, that there is somebody else involved. Um, there is a lot of heart heartache around. There's a lot of sadness around. Um, I'm feeling that they feel a, a sense of regret. Um, the, you know, the thing with the Three of Swords is that you, it's, it's also about re-evaluating things and it's also about understanding uh, uh, decisions that people have made. So wherever they are right now, it is with a sense of sadness um, and it's maybe something they feel, this is why they're going around in circles, that they can't get past this Three of Swords, whatever has happened between you. Um, and I'm also being drawn to the clouds, so they are in that, um, it's a darker period of their lives right now, but there's always a positive with every negative, and um, those darker periods of our life are our most transformative. So let's have a look to see what's in the past. Thank you, Spirit. There we are. So we've got here the Wheel of Fortune. So this is in their recent past. Um, so the Wheel of Fortune is about things moving in divine timing. Um, I feel with this Wheel of Fortune that they have come to um, a realisation. Uh, I think there have been a lot of getting sort of life lessons, hard knocks that they, they, they've gone through. And they're coming to this um, realisation that life is moving on, life is moving on, life is moving on. You know, the wheel is about divine law, it is about divine timing. Um, there is a lot of strength, the universe is giving them a lot of strength there. There is a little bit of stubbornness there with them as well. But I feel as well that they've, 
they've come to this realization about you and that's why the wheel is in the past that uh, everything has moved the way, thank you Spirit, everything has moved the way it's meant to and it's brought them to this King of Wands place. But the challenge they have is this Three of Swords that's sitting there and I'll find out more about that um, as we move forward through the reading. So let's look at their goals and aspirations. Thank you Spirit. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. So you've got two cards that have come out here. You've got the Queen of Swords and you've got the Page of Swords. So at this moment in time, um, you are the Queen of Swords, okay? Because this is them as the Page. Um, you are this Queen of Swords. And um, Swords are symbolic of those battles within you, but they're also about clarity. And the Queen of Swords is somebody who has gone through something, and I believe it's this Three of Swords with them. And uh, the Queen of Swords has gone through something and she's she's come to, a, she's healed, she's healing. Now that's why this is interesting because the Queen of Swords and the Three of Swords makes Four of Swords, which is healing. So you have definitely gone through uh, and that's why the wheel is in the past. It's, I, I believe this has been a long, um, I, I don't like to say long, but it's been a journey that hasn't been an overnight journey for you. But it is about this journey. This journey is about self-love. Uh, particularly with soulmates who we feel so strongly about. Um, and so the Queen of Swords is somebody who um, just really doesn't put up with any bullshit. And she's gone through uh, a lot, but she has come to a place of understanding. She's come to a place of um, rediscovering herself because uh, sometimes with relationships um, that we are given by God, particularly soulmate relationships, we tend to lose ourselves in them uh, for a while. And it's about rediscovering ourselves. It's about recreating ourselves. It's about finding that self-love. And that's who the Queen of Swords is. You know, she knows what's important to her now. Uh, she knows uh, that she doesn't want to um, get involved with any negative energies. She's got clarity. She doesn't want to be involved in any negative energy around her. She will welcome anything that comes with clarity, that comes with truth, comes with openness, comes with vulnerability. And this is the Queen of Swords. They, um, they're fearing, feeling very uh, nervous of you at this current time. And this is why they've got this Page of Swords here. So it comes back to, the Page of Swords is kind of the, seen as a spying card. And I mentioned that with the King of Wands, but I'm seeing it more as the observing card, the looking card, not the spying card. It's not spooky, it's not weird. It's just they are, they are focused on you at this time and they're trying, their goal is to try and find out um, not more information about you because I think this has been a long journey between you, but more about, so I'll just put my light back on, more about where you are right now in your head and heart space. And um, there is a defensiveness there. And I see this also with this King of Wands sitting there as well. There is a defensiveness there. Um, they, do you see as well their foot here? It's on, on the green, on the heart chakra color of the gown. So it's almost like if they know if they get up right now and do something, they're going to fall over themselves. So there's, a, there's an embarrassment and there's a defensiveness there. And this is why they're in this, oops, sorry. This is why they're in this page of swords. Um, with you at this current time but all their focus and energy is on you um, okay so let's have a look at um, uh, what's below them so this is their feelings behind their feelings behind the feelings that they may not be even aware of this is their subconscious driving this is their soul driving them the things that they need to address thank you so you've got here the five swords has come out um, so the Five of Swords card is about, for me, it's about a self-love card. It's about um, having walked away from something because it wasn't right for you. And uh, so for me, what this is saying is uh, whatever has happened between you with this Three of Swords, one or both of you made a decision to walk away. Um, it was terribly upsetting for both of you, not just for you if you're watching this reading. Um, they are holding there <clears throat> three swords and that's that heartbreak. And I have a feeling, thank you Spirit, that you walked away. This is you walking away here, uh, in the background here. And they're holding these three swords, which is what their challenge is, to overcome their regret and their remorse. 
um, to forgive themselves for what they have done. And um, they, thank you spirit, they have this little pouch here and this is their higher self, this is their spiritual knowledge. And that's the first time I've seen that in these cards. So this is specifically for you and for your reading. Whatever happened, whatever tower happened between you two, it has um, triggered them into reflecting on where they are right now in their life. And this is what spirit, this is their feeling behind the feeling is what their, 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 this is their journey as much as yours. So whatever healing you have been through, my darling, you've been through a lot and the spirit is saying, well done. Um, they may not be as far along as you, but they have definitely gained um, higher knowledge. They've definitely been listening to their soul. So they're, they're starting to. Um, because you see, they've got this two swords. I know this is the three here, but this is their clarity and truth. And on the floor here is also clarity and truth, which they've left behind for you. So let's, <clears throat> let's see what the next steps are in their journey. Thank you, Spirit. Next steps, please. Thank you. <laughs> Lots of sword energy at the moment. Lots of sword energy. So the, so the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is rushing back in. There's a lot they want to say. This is coming in. This is the next steps. This is a lot they want to say as the Knight of Swords. They are so nervous about talking to you. Um, again, you know, this three of swords and this one sword here makes four swords. So that says to me, whatever they want to say to you, whatever they want to say to you, four swords is healing. It's going to give you some healing. It's going to either give you some closure. It's going to be a message of transition, thank you spirit. It's a message from, and this is why the wheel is in the near past. It's, um, it's going to help uh, your journey with them. And um, they, uh, if you also look as well, that um, with this Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords, do you see you, my darling, at the moment, are in receiving mode. And this is them rushing towards you. And you will receive them, I know you will. Um, and, and what's so nice is they've come from, you know, their goals and aspirations are just this page at the moment. That's in their conscious sort of, but underneath, you know, they, they, they are, they've come to, nobody's won or lost this. They've realized a sense of loss. They've realized that actually whatever's happened hasn't been for their greatest good. And they want, <clears throat> they want to come rushing in to speak with you, but there is a real nervousness with them uh, to do this. But the, the white horse means that sense of clarity as well. I'm getting autumn, so there may be something that's happening in the autumn, but they are being very guided, very guided with this journey. Um, and both of you, in both of these cards, you're both being guided. You see the birds here in both of the cards. So um, that very much talks to me about the spirit is talking to you and you're both very aware of it. Uh, so I think they're further along this journey than you may think they are. I, I, I feel that they, they're in that place where they know what they want, but they're not quite brave enough to come forward. And what that really means is that their um, bless them, that the ego side of them, we all have that ego side, that protective side of them, it's just stepping in the way a little bit at this moment in time where they are as the king of wands. They know what they want. Uh, that's all about their passion. And and um, they will be coming forward to you. And it's to help this healing, this three of swords, because the fourth sword makes the healing sword. And interestingly enough, the queen of swords and the three of swords and the knight of swords makes the five of swords, which is what their soul is guiding them to do, to come out of this ego place do you see as well, you know, they're wearing green in this card. So whatever happened to you was very painful for them as well, because the green represents the heart chakra. And they can't stop thinking about what's happened. They can't stop thinking about the loss of what's happened. Um, okay, so let's, I'm going to get some advice from Spirit for you. This is for you now. Uh, and then we'll move back to them as well. Thank you, Spirit. One card, please. Advice or two. One card, please, or two. There we go. <clears throat> Ten of Cups. So Spirit is saying to me, um, and I believe you know this already, don't worry. Um, 
it's an extraordinary thing to be able to let go of fear and to have faith, to have trust, to have trust that um, all of our relationships that we have are for this evolution of our soul and everything is given for us, not to us. And I believe you're, you're getting to that stage being the queen of swords um, and you've gone through uh, a great deal of healing and you've got to know yourself again. As I said, we have a tendency to lose ourselves in relationships and now you've got to know yourself again and you know what are healthy boundaries, you know what's good for you and what's not good for you. And um, Spirit is saying to me to tell you that part of that trust and faith in the universe and God um, in what your guides are doing for you at this time and what they're doing for your soulmate at this time is for you to be happy in the moment. Our life is right now in this moment. And when we have regrets and remorse and, and we're sad about things, it's because we're living in the past. And when we have fears and anxieties, it's because we're worrying about the future. But it's about being in the moment. It's about being happy in the moment. It's about having hope with the rainbow there. And you are very connected to your soulmate. I don't know if there are children involved, but I'm guessing that um, you feel like home for them and um, they're very, thank you Spirit, they're very open. They're coming to a place of being very open and vulnerable to come and talk to you. And there was a place when you were, wherever you were with them, now you're in separation, was a very happy period for them. But Spirit is saying this Ten of Cups is coming in for you and to have trust and faith that let them take care of all the details and you be happy in this moment. You focus on what makes you happy right now because this journey, my darling, is about you and it's you create your own happiness. You can choose at any given moment whether you want to feel happy or sad and Spirit will always, always remind you of that and give you so many giggle moments and lovely moments and just sporadic things that happen every day can be full of surprises and delights if you allow it to be if you let it in so i'm going to go back to um and it's lovely seeing that ten of cups there in terms of spirit's advice for you it's about having belief trust faith knowing and knowing is stronger than all of those because knowing is when you know something and you can't explain it to anybody else but you just know it yourself i'm going to look now at what uh, energies are around your soulmate and these very much could be your energies that are appearing around them at this time uh, but let's have a look to see what energies are around your soulmate at this time sorry about that my dog started to bark so uh, we were looking to see what energies are around your soulmate at this time what's their environment at this present moment that's outside of their control thank you spirit thank you one or two cards please thank you okay so um you've got here the Ten of Wands and uh, the Seven of Cups. So for me, um, I feel at the moment they're taking on too much. The Ten of Wands represents somebody who's very much wanting to um, be all things to all people, uh, taking, uh, wants to care for people, um, but is taking on too much responsibility. It's like, the the woes, the burdens of the world, they feel they're on their shoulders at this time. And um, but interesting enough, in their perceived state of mind, in terms of where they are, with regard to you, they simply are this King of Wands. So all these other ones that they're carrying, they know are not good for them. So whatever it is with the energies around them at this time, it's not something that's for their greatest good. It's not allowing them to um, move forward. Um, and this is why they're in this Page of Swords uh, frame of mind as well. They, they really feel the weight of the world on their shoulders. And one of the things about this journey for them with their self-love is about forgiving themselves because nobody intends to hurt somebody else. They do it from their cloudy lens of life. They do it from their place of pain. You know, we all have in us that inner child um, that however we felt as a child with certain things, it's things that we carry these deep wounds inside us and we're not really aware that, that until you are aware that that's what causes triggers, that's what causes conditioned behaviours. And it's about healing that inner child. So 
they um they they have as well this this seven of cups here so there is a lot of I don't like to say this, but it's come to me. Um, there's a lot of game playing that's happening around them at this time. It's causing them a lot of confusion. Um, their head is all over the place in terms of how, what and when and how, um, although they know what they want. They're having a lot of dreams about you as well. So this is all outside of their control. And this is, you know, spirit as well is not, is trying to help them as much as possible. They uh, are focused still, I feel, on the materialistic sides of things that may have been important to them in the past. And I'm not saying that they're focused entirely on that, but it's about, you know, with the, with the Seven of Cups, it's about, for me, letting go and letting God. It's about not trying to control things, because the more you try and control things, the more you can get confused, because you're not allowing God, the universe, to step in and to guide you. Um, they are going through a transformation there at the moment um, and uh, these clouds here are representing that turmoil in them too um, but they are you know this person's reaching out um, so they are trying to see what next steps where they should be going so this is this is sort of what they can't control at the moment uh, around them and uh, this but I want to you to remember this is exactly where they're meant to be at this time because people don't learn from being told by anybody else. They can only learn through their experiences. We only shift and change when um, we go through things and we feel things and we experience things. So this is what they're going through at this time. And I know you understand that because you've been through this journey. You're going through this journey yourself and you've come to this Queen of Swords place. They are terribly worried about, they know that they've hurt you, um, but I don't feel they realize at this present time that you are now in this space of wanting to talk and wanting to listen and wanting to understand more. I, I know you have a deep understanding and a deep knowing about this, but I believe you also want to hear from them. Um, and you are um, wanting to to listen to them. But I will go back, at the moment in time, they're feeling a page to your queen. So they're feeling a little intimidated, but that is where they're meant to be right now. This is a process of exploration, I'm getting a process of understanding. Um, and I just got the Eight of Swords wanted to say there. So they are in this, this space at the moment. Um, they will come out of it, nobody stays in it forever. But at the moment, they're, they're caught in that fear space. They're putting fear over faith, where spirit is saying to you, you are putting faith over fear. But that's, they have to go through these contrasts. Um, okay, so let's look at their hopes and fears at this time. Thank you, spirit. If that wanted to come out. We've got the queen of pentacles. And another card, please. Thank you, spirit. The knight of cups. This is very beautiful. So this is very much focused on you. Um, <laughs> the Knight of Cups, bless him. The Knight of Cups is somebody who is, um, you know, cups are obviously representative of emotions, um, romance, being overwhelmed. You know, the Knight of Cups is slightly overwhelmed by their emotions. Um, and it's about coming in um, and literally offering you this cup, their cup, their heart. They're coming, it's about their hopes is to come in, being open, being vulnerable, we'll be able to talk to you again with this white horse. You know, it's interesting, you know, their hopes and fears, their hope is to come in as the Knight of Cups. In the near future, though, they might be rushing in as the Knight of Swords because they're too nervous. They're too nervous to, you know, and they may choke over their words. They may be like a frog and kind of can't get their words out but uh, they want to come and, and speak to you again, the Knight, the Queen. They're still not feeling that they deserve this opportunity, they deserve this chance, but they want to, this is their hope. And you know, this is you, the Queen of Pentacles. So wherever you are on your journey, uh, you've come to a place of um, being happy, being you, being happy, getting to know yourself, being happy because you want to be happy, not reliant on anybody else, being self-sufficient, being, um, uh, abundant, you know, not just materialistically, but emotionally as well. 
um, you know, with life too. But you, you, you've come. You're, you're very independent. And the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who's a great catch, and that's represented here by the hare. I particularly love hares. Um, hares also are born with their eyes open, and they don't run when it's dangerous. So you, you, you're very much in that receiving mode. And because the Queen of Pentacles is a great catch, they know this. And the Queen of Pentacles also takes her time making a decision, like the tortoise and the hare story. So that's their fear that, you know, you are going to be very reflective, quite rightly. You're going to take your time with this decision. You will only do it as the Queen of Swords as well, for your greatest good, because you now have healthy boundaries. So that it's, it's about how they approach you. This is simply their hopes and fears, and whether you are going to give them a chance, give them an opportunity. Um, I'm going to now look at the sort of potential outcome uh, for you. Thank you, Spirit. So it's beautiful, okay? So you've got the Six of Swords, knowing what direction to take. And on the bottom of the deck, you've got the Sun card. So whatever's going to happen with you and your soulmate on your journey, it is with a knowing, both of you, about what direction you want to take. And what, thank you, Spirit. First of all, I just want to talk about, this is the Six of Swords, okay? And I go back to this Five of Swords here in their feeling behind their feeling as well. Um, and uh, the sword that they want to come in with this Knight of Swords, and I told you this was healing. That five and that one, again, makes a six. So whatever is going to come in, they are coming from a place of truth. They are coming from a place of vulnerability. They are coming from a place of knowing what they want as the King of Wands. And that is going to allow you both to move forward on this journey. And I believe together, they have this wand here as well. This is the, this is them as the King of Wands too. Um, and I always, you know, see this card, you know, they, they're, they're going, thank you Spirit, they're going to work very hard at this. They want to, it's, it's about, again, making amends, showing you that they mean what they say. They're going to put this effort into the relationship. They're very protective of you. Um, and, um, and the, again, with the Six of Wands, um, I'm getting Autumn again too. I don't know why I'm getting Autumn again too. But they are very determined. And that's in the outcome. And look what that's accompanied by is the Sun card. So this is the happiest card in the deck. So whatever this Six of Swords is, whatever new direction or whatever direction that's with the balance of your soul and your your mind and your soul you know that the water represents in the six of six of swords cards subconscious and conscious so your mind and soul whatever this direction is it's going to be from a balanced point of view and you've got the sun card here because they know it brings them great happiness and and it will be extraordinarily happy and look of course because you've got this ten of cups with spirit saying have faith trust trust your knowing and again, at the bottom of the deck, I've got the Three of Pentacles. This is about building a new foundation, a new way of doing things. So um, where at the moment, uh, just to um, run through these cards before I go on to your clarifiers, is where they are at the moment in terms of their goals and aspiration and what their feeling behind their feeling behind the feeling is. They are in sync, weirdly enough, with the Page of Swords and the Five of Swords. They are exactly at the place they're meant to be right now. They are going through experiences. In order for um, the Five of Swords to get to the outcome, which is the Six of Swords and the Sun card, um, they are needing, Spirit says, to, because these, these cards, in terms of what their feelings behind their feelings behind their feelings are, and where the, the outcome, where they also want to be, uh, they're needing to release things, let things go. And this is why this energy of the Ten of Wands um, has appeared in the deck as well. But in terms of where they are right now, um, this Five of Swords as well, and the Knight of Swords, uh, it's very interesting. Again, in terms of where they are now, and the, and the Knight of Swords is the next few steps, they are very much in sync for the outcome for the Six of Swords because they're wanting to... They're wanting, five and the one makes six again, they're wanting to move forward, to do something about this, you know, to come forward as this Knight of Cups, to offer this, this Three of Pentacles, this new foundation, and this is you as the Queen of Pentacles considering that offer, and they may feel that they may 
have missed an opportunity or done something that that you've I, I feel like you've forgiven them kind of 90% you 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 understand um, you're not in a place of anger and resentment I don't see that at all um, but you are wanting to hear from them you are wanting to understand literally from the horse's mouth with the knight of swords and the knight of cups you're wanting to hear from them and I feel thank you that if they were to come the way that you know you want them to come and what's for your greatest good if they were to come you you're not going to step back into this relationship if it's got red flags written all over it if it's not for your highest good your self-love has created this grounding and this balance for yourself and so this is why you're considering as the queen of pentacles so unless they come to you correctly and openly and honestly then um and they know this they know they need to come correct and this is why you give them all the time in the world my darling because whatever they're going through at the moment around them they need to go through that they need to come to a place of just saying do you know what Whew, this is this is makes sense this is what i want but they have to go through that process okay so i'm now going to pull some of my beautiful spirit song tarot and do just go in a little deeper into the reading for you so first of all we're going to look at the uh knight of wands thank you spirit thank you thank you for clarifying the knight of wands thank you <clears throat> so <laughs> you've got very funny they are very funny spirit you've got the knight of shells and the page of feathers so you've already had these cards that have come out um the knight of shells is the knight of cups so this is do you remember i talked about the knight the king of wands knowing what he wants but not able to get up for fear of falling over on his cloak fear of falling over his emotions this is this knight this is this knight of cups they want to come forward and um it says here charm and passion and this is the flaming flamingo okay they can actually at the flamingo do it standing on one leg but they don't feel they can um and the flamingo is a messenger of love and goodness so whatever has happened in this recent past with them with the wheel of fortune it has all been in their favor in your favor uh it's all been divine timing um, everything has happened for them and to get them to where they are right now. And I know with, you know, with the Flamingo as well, they're very charming, they're very passionate. Um, and I understand that. Um, and they're also feeling quite humble at the moment too, which is a lovely thing to see. Um, <clears throat> but you've got this Page of Feathers as well, which is again the Page of Swords. <clears throat> and it says here, they want to speak to you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just need to take some water. Thank you. <clears throat> so the page of feathers is exploration and discovery. And um, uh, so this is again about them. Um, thank you, Spirit. It's about them also exploring their feelings and they're making discoveries as well. They, they are going through um, some realizations at the moment, uh, rediscovering themselves. And um, the raccoon is about how having ideas and about how best to act on them um and for them you know with exploring fresh ideas fresh concepts they're all emerging at this time and they're this is why they've got this knight of cups about wanting to come forward um so that's lovely to see there so let's have a look at the uh three of swords for you thank you this is their challenge the three of swords thank you queen of cups so I really feel uh, they know how much they hurt you. The Queen of Cups is somebody, um, and there's two layers to this, but the Queen of Cups is somebody who, uh, and I hope you don't mind me saying this, because we've all been there, but the Queen of Cups is somebody who wants to, and it's lovely, wants to love, wants to please, wants to look after, wants to do everything for that person. But sometimes it's done from a place of lack of self-love. And sometimes it's about um, if they love you, then you feel that you're lovable. <clears throat> and I feel this is where you were before. 
And this is why this has happened for you, in order for you to get to a place where you got to know yourself again and you love yourself and you know, you are the only person who's with you every second of your life. So why don't you love you? And it's that where you've come to. You, you're, you, this is why you're the queen of swords with these healthy boundaries. So they know how much they hurt you. Um, the queen of cups here um, is the seal and it's about peace and compassion. And again, I come back to that wand that they were holding as the king of wands, olives represent peace and there's compassion there. And they know that you know that they didn't, they didn't mean to hurt you and that there is compassion there for them, but also they, they have oof, huge compassion for the situation as well. Uh, but the Queen of Cups is also about self-love. So they, you know, and I think they're learning from having watched you as the Page of Swords that you have gone through a whole process of self-love. And that's why in their hopes and fears, you is also the Queen of Pentacles. It's about somebody who's going to take their time. Um, it's going to really think carefully about what they want to do, what, what offer is coming in for them. Um, the seal has um, deep wisdom and deep love. So this for me is very much saying there's a huge connection between you. Um, and there has been a huge amount of um, wisdom gained on both sides from this, but also old wisdom. So I feel like your old soulmates. Um, it's about that gift of, you know, the Queen of Cups has that gift about knowing her inner voice and a learning the sort of ebb and flow, like seals swim, learning the ebb and flow of emotion, not getting overwhelmed, not getting sunk by it. Um, and diplomatic and caring and intuitive as well. So they, they, that is, it's almost like, uh, how could I have done that to this Queen of Cups, to, to, to you? Um, let's have a look at their recent past again with the Wheel of Fortune. Thank you, Spirit. More information, please. Thank you on the Wheel of Fortune. Too many cards, please. Just one or two cards, please. Thank you. There we go. Yeah, you've got the hangman here. So um, the hangman represents uh, literally, you know, seeing things from a different perspective, which is what I talked about in the past about the will of fortune. The hangman represents also having clarity. Um, and it means that they've taken time out with this will of fortune. They've, um, they've had that enlightenment, they've needed this time out, they've needed this sort of her hermit mode as well. They're seeing things now from observing, it's like a discretionary point of, they're seeing things from a different way, as I've said before. Um, and it's represented here by the praying mantis. And so the praying mantis is all about new, new perspective, sorry, and about seeing, uh, seeing it from a place of calm, a, a place of patience. Um, it's about lessons learned, and they really have learned their lessons here. Um, is the praying mantis, is the female praying mantis the one that bites the male's head off after they've had sex? Maybe. So maybe they've gone through an experience, thank you, with others. Maybe that's what that Three of Swords represents, where literally the person they've been with has not given them... Um, not saying they bit the head, well, maybe they did bite their head off, which is an expression in England, I don't know if it's an expression anywhere else, about just being quite angry and, and always attacking somebody else. Maybe they've been in that place and it's taught them contrasts and it's taught them about uh, patience and perseverance and it's taught them about understanding uh, what they had with you as the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Um, and if... Um, the Empress turns up, I wouldn't be surprised here. At the bottom of the deck as well, you have the Four of Crystals, which is the Four of Swords, which is the, uh, sorry, the Four of Pentacles, uh, which is about them not letting, you know, it's about them not letting go. Uh, and so this whole thing in the past, uh, I, I feel like, you know, these energies of you were around, but they had to go through, they weren't going to let go of whatever they were before because they had to go through this learning experience. Let's have a look at the Knight of Swords. Thank you. This is the next steps for them coming in. Thank you. There we go. Wow. Ace of Swords. So this is perfect. So the Knight of Swords rushing in, rushing in to speak their truth. That's what the Ace of Feathers represents. 
speaking their truth. It's the Ace of Swords. So if, if you have a question in your mind right now, it's the answer's yes. Um, because my Ace of Swords card is always a yes card from the universe. The always, universe always says yes. But if you were particularly asking about what this Knight of Swords is going to rush in and say, and you knew the answer, you knew already, then the universe is just confirming it for you. And it's represented here by the goat. And I love to see particularly the goat card here. So I love to use these animal cards because they have slightly different connotations. Um, with the goat here, it says here, mental clarity and foundation, okay? Um, but the goat, the goat travels up mountains or you do, on, on sort of narrow paths, difficult terrain to get, you know, to that grassland at the top, those, those flowers they want to eat, the grass they want to eat. And it's about that sure-footed path that they take. So, you know, Spirit is saying to me that they've had to do this journey. They've had to do this mountain path. Some of it's been difficult terrain, but it's given them clarity. They've known um, during this journey, they've had those sort of um, moments of understanding. And the goat is kind of a sure-footed guide. So whatever guides are around them or soul family that have been sent to help them, They've been guiding them. They've been they've been helping them on this, and it's about um, being receptive to clarity. They've they've done this journey, and I think every step they've taken has given them more and more clarity, and this is why they want to rush in with this truth, this Ace of Swords as the Knight of Swords. Okay, so let's have a look at their goals and aspirations uh, with the Queen of Swords and the Page of Swords right now. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> I'm not going to go any further because this is quite funny. You've got the Page of Cups, which is the Page of Shells here. Um, and do you remember I talked to you about them croaking out what they want to say? Well, this is the frog. The frogs croak. Um, and, uh, you know, you have to kiss the frog to get the prince. So um, I think it's very sweet. They are wanting to come in with an apology. Um, if their hope is to come in as the Knight of Cups, you know, at the moment their goal and aspirations, maybe just even, you know, this Page of Cups, again, it's a message of transition. Um, and, you know, with the frog, it's intuition and inspiration. This is what's inspiring them to come forward. Um, the frog also walks between uh, water and earth. So it's about that transition, that message of transition. And it's about the, the grounding and the emotional side as well. Um, and the frog, because he turns into a prince, you know, those lovely fairy stories. You know, I am I, I know here with this King of Swords and these two Knight of Cups, he is a natural, he or she, sorry, um, is, is only because I'm seeing lots of um, males here with the knights. You know, he or she is a natural romantic and they have a heart brimming over with love for you. This is why that you've got the King of Wands and the, and, the, and the two Knight of Cups here. And they want to express their feelings and they want to, like the frog, jump at the chance to do it. But they just don't know when or how. Um, so again, leave it up to divine timing. You stay in your lovely receiving mode and you focus on being in the moment as you are right now. Um, so let's have a look at the uh, Five of Swords, uh, which is below them, the kind of feeling behind the feeling behind the feeling. So, wow, so you've got the five of crystals, which is the five of pentacles. Um, so the five of pentacles is very much um, being left out in the cold. I, with this five of um, swords as well, whatever has happened between you, because you are so connected as well, I know that you've gone through this period of feeling like what's happened and feeling lonely and missing them and they are missing you. And this is what that feeling is that's driving them deep inside. You know, there is a loss, there's a real loss. I mean, look at that Five of Swords. There was a real realization whenever it was after you walked away. Um, and, but what's so lovely about this Five of Pentacles uh, with the Ladybird, there is magic, there is luck involved. And it talks about persistence and new possibilities. So, you know, as I said, there's always a amazing, there's always something wonderful that comes out of things that aren't so wonderful. Um, and that's the beauty of the universe when you can flip it in your mind. And if something happens that, that you feel um, uncomfortable about or it's triggering you, 
It's about flipping it and saying, well, why is this happening for me? And then that allows you to stand back and observe and then you shift and change and learn and grow. And I know you know that from who you are in this reading. Um, so they're having to go through this, this, this period and, and um, they are very much, you know, very much missing you. Um, but it's during these times of stress and worry, during these darker times, that we are at our most transformative. And um, I always talk about the lobster story. You know, a lobster will only grow out of his shell when he's forced to, when he's so uncomfortable in that shell, he's forced to grow out of it. So, um, and with the ladybird here, it's about a turning point. It's about new possibilities. Uh, and that's why this wheel is here. It's, it's they've, they've come to some understanding and realization and the wheel is turning in their favor now. And I think you have come to a place where you are, where I feel it's all coming together, orchestrated by Spirit Universe at exactly the right time. And there is, as always with the universe, represented here by the ladybird, there's always a little bit of magic involved. And uh, God, the universe always loves a Dada moment. So just say thank you, um, just allow it to be when it's meant to be and it'll be more amazing and magical than you could ever possibly have imagined because God does love to, to do that. Um, so let's have a look now at your advice from Spirit. This was the Ten of Pentacles, thank you. Thank you Spirit, more advice please, thank you. Yeah, the Hermit. So this is about you and you you know this, You, you it's about you continuing to to, to focus on yourself, to continue, continuing, sorry, I can't speak again, continuing to be in that hermit mode, continuing to go within, to continuing to find yourself, continuing to, to release childhood wounds. Um, it's, I just did a post recently, one of my daily divinations, and it was a lovely roomy quote that talks about, you know, when you're alone, it's because God wants to spend time with you. And uh, this is exactly where you are right now. And I don't feel that you fear being alone at all. You actually welcome it. And you are, um, you, you, you have come to a place of peace and you've come to a place of just letting things be as they're meant to be. And I feel like you're listening to this, this reading. You're knowing everything I'm saying, but it's lovely to have sometimes confirmation uh, from spirit about it. Um, and look at this lovely koala here sitting in their tree, okay? So this is you, remember this was your advice from spirit and uh, the card says contemplation and wisdom. But I want to show you that lovely little face he's got. You're very happy in this space. And that's what spirit is saying with this 10 of cups about you just continuing to be in the moment. Um, koalas are sort of beacon of well-being, aren't they? And you know, with all of the awful thing that happened with the fires in Australia, what happened to the koalas just brought so many people together, community together to help them. Um, it's about you also as the koala um, continuing to know that you need to rest. It's renewal, it's still this healing time for you. It's about you seeking that inner wisdom and that truth, um, you know, gathering your thoughts, slowing down, observing, listening, asking for the right answers, knowing that you'll always be given the answers at exactly the right time that you need to hear them. Um, and if you are not meditating, to meditate, because we can't hear our higher self, our knowing, our soul talk to us unless we're quiet. I always talk about them being receiving thoughts. Uh, sorry, my light keeps going up. Um, that we can think our worry, worry thoughts when we're rushing around doing stuff, but it's only when we're quiet that those clear receiving thoughts come in. And of course, there you are at the bottom of the deck as the high priestess, as I said that, which is represented by the links there, I believe. Um, intuition, sacred knowledge. So you know that and all will be revealed in the right time. And you know, the high priestess is also about being silent. It's about being quiet, it's about observing, and it's about speaking when you want to speak from a place of love and truth and understanding and compassion, but not speaking from a place of anger, fear and, and resentment. So well done you, that's lovely advice from Spirit. We're going to look at the Ten of Wands now and the Seven of Cups for your soulmates. Thank you. Okay, so, um, yes, you've got here, this is, 
they have created at the moment this energy around them. They think they, they, they've created this prison of fear, their thoughts. They've got the Three of Swords again, okay? Uh, this is represented by the Three of Feathers and they've got the Nine of Crystals. That's the Nine of Pentacles. So um, I'm going to talk first of all about the Nine of Pentacles. This is your energy that's around them, okay? I love to see spiders in these readings because the, the spider represents everything's connected. Everything's beautifully connected. Everything's beautifully orchestrated by the universe and you know this. And the Nine of Pentacles card is a wonderful card of uh, somebody who, like the Queen of Pentacles, uh, is consciously manifesting, consciously manifesting as above, down below, knowing that it's done and saying thank you for it, doing everything step by step as guided by spirit, independent, happy to be single. This is you, and and I feel like, and I talked about them dreaming with the Seven of Cups. You are very much, you're so connected to them, and you know if you just well, we don't, but if a spider was or a fly was just to land on a thread of the web, it sends that ripple effect through the web so that everything's connected and everything has um, an effect, like a ripple effect in water on everything else. Um, and the spider, thank you, because I just did a lovely other quote from E.B. White, Charlotte's Web, and it's about how words can save, how words can save you know, making a tremendous difference to people's lives. And so for me, this is saying that whatever words they want to come in with the Queen of Swords, as the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Swords and this Knight of Cups, they want the words to transform wherever they are right now in this Ten of Wands position. Um, the spider also kind of weaves together, you know, desires and life paths and everything. And it's about the spider is so patient and meticulous in what they do. Um, and spiders work at night, they're nocturnal. So again, it goes back to the dreams. I really feel they're getting a lot of clarity through dreams that they're having about you. Um, and uh, that a spider is a reminder, thank you, that we all hold that power to recreate ourselves anew. You know, Neil Donald Walsh, Conversations with God, you know, we can recreate ourselves, God says, we can recreate ourselves anew every day. And so this is what, this energy around them is that you are very connected with them and and thank you spirit the more you are focusing on you and that nine of pentacles i know you're holding the space for them but the more you're focusing on that nine of pentacles uh the more they're drawn towards you a little bit like a fly to a web you just thank you another expression you just keep creating your wonderful web you'll create your life path and everything and they will be drawn towards you like the fly. And they literally feel like that as well. There's another lovely expression that, you know, the, f the flower doesn't think of the bee, the flower blossoms and the bee comes. And that's what I'm getting here with that card. And where was the other one that came out? Thank you. And you've got here the three of feathers, uh, which is talking about release and recovery. So do you remember I talked about they're in exactly where they're meant to be right now, going through their learning exper learning experiences? Well, this is represented here by the moth. And so the moth, again, is attracted to the light. Thank you, Spirit. The moth is attracted to light. You are that light, that beacon of light, that koala. You are that spider drawing them in in a very lovely way. You're not going to eat them, not like the brain mantis or anything, but you are just being, you're doing your thing, you're focusing on your life path. And the moth is guided to that light and they have to journey through the darkness to get to the light, but it's about not being scared of the darkness. The moth isn't scared of the darkness. And that's what's so beautiful about this. And it's about that faith and knowing that you, you get that clarity through that darkness. And it's not, it's it's about not suppressing heartache as well with the Three of Swords. They are really reliving things. They're, they're allowing themselves to be in their emotions now. Um, and that, with the Three of Swords, we've got, you know, two lots of Three of Swords here now, that, those feelings, that weight of sadness that they're feeling is what's shifting and changing them and transforming them right now because it's turning that sadness into love and courage it's guiding them towards you. Um, and I really feel with the moth and the spike that here, there's going to be a breakthrough. There's going to be a breakthrough is taking place. They can't continue to be like this 
to, to carry all these energies around them. And I don't know who is around them at this time as well, but whoever they are around them, as I said, a lot of negative energies. When people are in a negative space, and I feel like your soulmate's shifting and changing away from that, it's much people who it's much easier for people who don't want to address those childlike wounds, don't want to shift and change, um, to literally transfer. They don't realize they're doing it, their energy's onto another. So wherever they are at the moment, it is a very heavy energetic space. It's not a nice place to be in. Um, and But it's getting them, it's, it's the experience that they need, those contrasts. That's why the Seven of Cups is there as well, to, to come to, it's that intricate, like a web. It's they're having to do all of this to, to, to get there, to that life path with you. Okay, so now let's look at their hopes and fears. This is the, um, the Knight of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Wow, lots and lots and lots and lots of cards. <laughs> but very lovely. Well, three cards actually have come out. The High Priestess has come out as well. So this is you, my darling. It came out before. This is you as this Queen of Pentacles. You're being silent at the moment. You're in receiving mode. You're observing. You're not doing anything. Look at you as the links again. Intuition and sacred knowledge. And you are very happy in that space you are right now. That's fabulous. You know you're content. And that's a love. You're at peace. And peace is really true happiness. And the links is all about everything being revealed at the right time. And uh, about trusting your intuition. Um, it's about dreams and calm and solitude. So this is... This is them being drawn to you. This is their hopes and hopes and fears are so closely intertwined as well. Um, you've got here the page of acorns. This is the page of wands. So there they were at the king of wands in the beginning of the reading. I just feel that they feel they're not worthy. I feel this is, you know, this is about their self-love as well. So if, they're lo if there's lots of pages and knights here and you're the one appearing as the queen everywhere, then they are, they're still on that journey of self-love because they don't feel that they deserve you. They don't feel good enough. Um, and so this is about them going through that process to go, no, actually, I do deserve this. And I do want to, you know, I want to, I want to resurrect this. I want to do what I need to do to make it work. Um, and I love the page of ones here is the monkey. So the monkey, I mean, they're naughty on there, a bit naughty. They're very funny. I think your, your soulmate, whoever they are, he or she has got a wonderful character, very charming, very lovely. Um, they may just have mucked up and we know why people do that as we've talked about before but the monkey is so free-spirited as well and um, you know their hope is you know monkeys are optimistic so it's their hope is that kind of optimistic possibilities about what would happen if they did approach you um, and monkeys are also a bit naughty and a bit impatient so it's about keeping their the right time the right time keeping their patience in, in, in check um, and where was the other card? Again, Seven of Shells, which is Seven of Cups. So they are very, this is their face, they're very confused about things. And how funny, you've got here the lobster. So they, thank you, and remember I talked to you, they had to go through this Ten of Wands and the Seven of Cups because it is transformative, like the lobster growing out of his shell. So this is their hopes and fears. It's the same message from Spirit. You know, they are having to go through this fear and having to go through this hope that the, everything they're, their feeling at the moment in their hopes and fears is, is what's transforming them like the lobster to grow out of their shell, to shift and change and to grow. And uh, the lobster is about having that choices, those, that, what do they do, that kind of crossroads of choices. And that's why the hangman is in the past. There's been a lot of deep thought here. Sorry if I'm speaking too fast, but I get very excited when I do these readings. Um, and it's about their transform, transformative process. So this is beautiful. Um, and on the bottom of the deck, as I said that, you've got the lover's card uh, with the wolves, uh, and that's choice and trust. Again, choices, trust your knowing, and we all have inside of us a love wolf and a fear wolf, and the wolf that leads the pack is the wolf we feed. So this is this is their contrast they're going through at the moment. You know, which wolf are they feeding at the moment? At this time, it's the fear wolf still, but that love wolf is not going to let that fear wolf lead the pack for too long. So let's look at the Six of Swords and the Sun card. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, uh, well. Okay. <laughs> you, you've got uh, the Love card has come out again as well. So I, this is the choice. They, 
the choice, whatever choice they are making with regards to you, it's going to bring in so much happiness as well. This is absolute clear direction and it's this choice and love. They are going to feed that love wolf. That love wolf is going to lead the pack and it's leading, do you see in this card, towards the sun here, um, there, leading towards the sun. So they are making that decision, uh, which is just wonderful. And look, at the beginning, at the, in their past, you had the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favour and turning in their favour. And it's about going with the flow. The octopus, you know, he, it sort of, again, blends into the water, kind of goes, with, goes around rocks, um, pauses for a moment. Uh, you know, the octopus is a sort of master of fluidity and change, adapting. So this is, you, you are already on this journey as that in terms of going with the flow and they are learning it as well because the more they try and control things, the more they're in this 10 of wands. But they know what they want, that clarity is with the Ace of Swords and the King of Wands. Um, and they, it's, they, everything will work in divine timing. It's about tuning into that universal rhythm, just like the octopus. And it says here, change and possibility. So that's just beautiful. And at the bottom of the deck, um, guess who's there? The Queen of Wands, the Queen of Acorns. So there you are, at the bottom of the deck, and there they were at the beginning of the reading as the King of Wands. So it's beautiful, beautiful match. Um, and you know, the Queen of Wands, passion about creativity about knowing what you want i love to see her represented here by uh the deer and it's about somebody you know who is vivacious and loving and loves opportunities and loves you know got boundless energy as well and very much ruled by the heart and sensitive to and um and you're manifesting your dreams at the moment my darling and of course you know that as the high priestess too you're absolutely manifesting your dreams so uh, that is that part of the reading. I'm now going to give you some angel answers. So I'd like you to think whatever questions you have in your mind right now. And I'm going to pull some angel answer cards for you. Uh, thank you, Spirit. What cards do you have for whoever's leading an answer? So you've got choose a new direction for whoever, for whoever that was meant to be for. And I think, you know, that's a new direction in terms of Wherever you are as this Queen of Swords, Spirit is saying if there's something you want to do passionately, do it. Choose that new direction because this is what's helping with your self-love. Um, and whatever that may be, there's going to be a lot of attention. There's a lot of guidance around you. And you are being guided to do something that brings your passion and creativity because... When we are passionate about something, when we enjoy doing it, that's our life path. That's what we're meant to be doing. So whoever that's for, you'll understand that. Thank you, Spirit. Any other messages, please? And, sorry, I'm just going back to that card. Do you see there, there's a little person there. So if choosing that new direction will, will help, if this is your soulmate here, come out of that space of where they are with their sorrow and their remorse, because how can they ignore everything else around them that's happening, which is you? So, um, any other answers, please? Thank you, Spirit. There we are, within the next few months, my darling. So I, I did talk about the autumn there, and that wanted to come out as well. Uh, you have a no card, and I think that immediately uh, popped into my head about you communicating them. No, let them come to you at the right time. This is very important that they do this because otherwise if they haven't healed the way you're healing then you're just going to repeat a cycle with them and you've got look for a sign you 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 know that you're getting um signs and i've saw forgiveness as well there is still as i said a little 10 percent of forgiveness that needs to happen and ask for help from others and i've been guys to pull one more Big happy changes. There we go. Change was the whole thing with this reading at the end, wasn't there, about knowing what direction. So that's beautiful. And lastly, my darling, I am going to pull some love messages for you uh, from your person you're thinking about, your person. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. 
I wish I was kissing you instead of missing you. There he is, the, he or she is the frog right now. Okay, and it's so hard not talking to you. And on the bottom of the deck, you've got, I'm sorry, this is how things turn out. So um, don't interrupt. My spirit is saying don't interrupt their 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 transformation. Don't be over impatient and rush in. Allow them to come to you, okay? Because this journey is not just for you, it's obviously for them as well. Um, and thank you, Spirit. Just because I let you go doesn't mean to say I didn't, I, just because I let you go doesn't mean I wanted to. And that was that Five of Swords. Um, and you've got, I'm addicted to the way I feel when I'm thinking about you, and that's them as the a King of Wands. So I hope, actually two more cards they're saying. Thank you. I keep myself busy, busy with the things that I do, but every time I pause, I still think of you. So you were always there, as I said, in their mind. Um, and that's, again, the King of Wands, the Ten of Wands, the Seven of Cups. Spirit is doing what they're doing at the moment, okay, for both of you. So allow this. And you've also got, I'm sorry if I ever contributed to the suffering of your heart. So I know with the Page of Cups, the Knight of, two lots of Knight of Cups, the, the Knight of Swords, the King of Pent, the King of Wands, there is so much love here. Um, you know what I'm going to say. Just allow it to happen in divine timing, my darling. Allow it to happen in divine timing. I hope this has... Um, helped with whoever uh, has resonated with this reading um, and uh, as I said um, I would love it I'd be very grateful if you'd like comment share subscribe um, I'm going to be doing next weekend a twin flame reading uh, for you all and uh, um, so but in the meantime have a really lovely week wherever you are in England here we've got kind of a second summer which is quite lovely um, but have a really lovely week and take care, my darlings. Okay, bye-bye.